Let's go. Let's go. It's the, it's the day. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but it's time to go. Alrighty, so now I'm at the bus stop. Let's see what time it is. 5.04. I still got about a half hour until I uh, get on the actual bus. And now I'm just super cold. I don't know, dude. Everything's just kind of, it just kind of didn't all get real until right now, which is kind of crazy. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I know I fucking forgot something, but I don't know what it is. And I mean, you know, if it wasn't on my mind when I was packing, then obviously it doesn't matter. But I need coffee. I need, I don't know. I just need to get there already. <laughs> I haven't even left yet, and I just want to get there already. I hate this so much. I've done it so many fucking times. But here I am doing it again as much as I don't want to. For whatever reason, my camera battery is about to die, so I'll update you once I get onto the actual bus. All right, so the bus just got here, and um, I guess now I'm about to start my journey. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I miss everyone so much already, and uh, everyone just needs to know that I'm not gone forever, and that I am coming back. I have to keep trying to get, tell myself that. But this is what the bus looks like. Those TVs never play anything, at least the times that I've been on here. Also, I don't know when I'm going to be getting a laptop again, which is going to make this YouTube thing very, very difficult. But I think I got it under control. I'm not looking for anything crazy expensive, just enough to make music and edit videos. So. There's that, and uh, let's get ready for some B-roll shots. just made it to the Amtrak station in Martinez. So now I have about, I don't know what even this shit says. I just know some of that dank kush. I don't know, like 40 minutes until my train comes. So that from here I'm going to Sacramento. So now I'm gonna go grab me a nice ass fucking cup of coffee and wake up. Let's get this going. All right, so now I'm outside. Here, let me scoot back for a little bit. It is cold as fuck. Um, I got myself some coffee. Now my train should be here in about, oh shit, I can't tell time. Right now my grandpa's going through a procedure of, which is kind of why I was trying to get to Reno on uh, Saturday, just so I'd be able to go to this procedure with him. Right now they're, they're running something up his leg that's gonna go into his heart. Uh, just kind of like checking to make sure everything's all good. Yeah, there was some lady that was on the bus that decided to take her kids seat who was sitting right in front of me and just slam his seat into my knee I wasn't gonna make a commotion about it but like she didn't even care that it hit my knee or maybe even notice that it hit my knee so on the bottom of the seats there's a little foot rest so then I just took the foot rest and just started slamming that bitch down because I don't care Guess I'm just hardcore or something. I don't know. I just can't wait to get to Reno. I'm gonna be in Reno at about 125. I forgot my DS. I was gonna be playing Monster Hunter this whole time, but I forgot my DS. I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling on at this point. Um, I'll check in with you guys when I get lonely. Alrighty, so now I'm in Sacramento. Uh, gotta make it out to the bus. We actually arrived pretty early, at least 10 minutes early. So now, I get on a bus to go to Reno. It's the most grueling part of this whole entire 
trip, but eventually I will make it, and I cannot fucking wait to get there, no matter how cold it is. So now I'm on the bus. Uh, too stoked, but thankfully it's only two and a half hours. The thing that I don't like about it is that it's just a lot of like rocks and trees and nothing to really see. It kind of lost its beauty for me once I've done it so many times. You know, nothing I could do about it now. I've gotta do this. Uh, I haven't talked to my grandpa yet, but I'll talk to him once I get to Reno. I'll see him once I get to Reno. So. It's funny, he doesn't know what an Uber is. He still thinks that, uh, I mean, a lot of people still do use cabs, but he's just like, just go in there and then tell them you want to go to the VA guest house. Not everyone knows where the hell that is, but whatever. Let's get this done. Let's just get it over with. I just want to get there. I want to charge my watch. That's it. And then get something to eat. All right, I'll see you in the next one. So now we just officially got to Reno. Look at it. This is my first time seeing snow in years, but now I gotta get to the VA guest house to, to get to my grandpa. So here's that journey, and I'll let you guys know once I finally get there. God, it feels good to finally fucking get here. So I just made it to the guest house right now. My grandpa's across the street at the hospital, so now I'm waiting for somebody to bring me over there so I don't get lost, but yeah, we're gonna see him in just a little bit. This is a little bit of what the room looks like. Pretty tiny, shared bathroom. Still got some snow outside, let that focus. It's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. Now this is all real, let's get to it. All right, Gramps, now that I'm in a position where I'm not gonna get in trouble for filming you, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. Good. Good, good. And there's Hector. Yeah. Now we're just on our way back to the guest house. Yep. And then hopefully get some food because yeah. I need that in my life real bad. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> There's Hector. So we had quite the eventful afternoon after we saw you last. The lift on the back of his car ended up just dying. It has no power, no charge to it. We were going to go to uh, to Fuddruckers over by the Shields Mall, but we couldn't because the lift wouldn't pick up his uh, scooter. So we ended up just eating here and then here we are now just just hanging out. I think I'm just gonna watch me some YouTube and pretty much call it a night. I've been, I had, I've had a long day. Yeah. I've had a long ass day. <laughs> I have too. Yeah, he has too. Okay, and what's really cool is that this whole process of the, of the lungs is going by pretty quick uh, at least from what he says yeah. and i really hope that it decides to go go fast because one it would be cool to get him a new set of lungs and then not only that i've never been to seattle before so i think that'd be a pretty cool experience I gotta get my teeth pulled too. oh yeah he's gotta get his teeth pulled what do you when do you get that done i don't know i might get it done up here i might get it done in bishop i don't know by dr hopkins i don't know have you ever been to Seattle, Grandpa? No. No. Where Where's some of the places around the country that you've been to? Oh, I've been to a few places, but not a whole lot. You I'm pretty a much California boy. You've pretty much just stayed in California your whole life. Well, other than the service and yeah, and uh, and when we drove back and forth, we drove back and forth a couple of times. Uh -huh. Your Grammy and I. So, what are you gonna do the rest of your night now, Grandpa? I'm gonna watch more uh, how to train a dragon hell yeah <laughs> i got this guy on my netflix account and it completely changed his life now you can watch whatever you want whenever you want well i also i also have direct tv but i don't know how to get it i, I sure as hell don't either yeah. all right so now it is the next day and we had some appointments earlier this morning uh we also had breakfast at the va hospital so uh, I had a breakfast burrito that actually ended up being really good, and he had a uh, he had biscuits and gravy with uh, some bacon. Uh, that place is cheap. We got like a ton of shit for for like twelve bucks. It was crazy. Um, now we're looking to replace our uh, radio. Our radio. So 
we're trying to find uh, this one place. It was like audio something. I forget what it was exactly, but it's on like South Virginia. So we're trying to find that place. Uh, and then we're gonna get the radio changed, uh, something with Bluetooth on it. And then after that, we're gonna head to Shields, check out some shit down there. Um, and then maybe like once we get hungry, hit up Fuddruckers or something. But right now, that's pretty much what it is. There is the city of Reno right there. And uh, yeah, we're just headed out. We on our shit right now. So we just got done with the consultation for the radio. Yeah. You feeling pretty good about it? Oh yeah. I wanted to do that anyway. Basically what we're doing now is, it's not gonna start till 4.30, the whole installation thing, and right now it is about 3.42. So now we're just kinda walking around the shopping center. I'm feeling kinda hungry, what are you saying? Uh, okay, yeah, we're just gonna be looking around at this point. Not quite sure, but we got some time to kill. So. We'll find out what we're gonna do. Fifty bucks could buy you. So fifty. So like, for for a fifty dollar paycheck. Yeah. What year was that? Would you say? That was probably about sixty five, sixty six. What could that get you back then? Well, I don't know. It bought me clothes, and gas from the car. And... What would you say was a livable wage back then? Like you can, oh. you could, uh, you can like you know pay your rent for your. You know, your apartment rent. and pay your bills and everything. Like, I what? didn't pay rent, but I lived at home. But uh, when I got married, our apartment was was uh, ninety six fifty a month. God damn it! I wish. Yeah. And it was a one bedroom apartment. What is the greatest? In, in Santa but, Rosa, I think. But I, for a real nice apartment. It was 130 bucks, God. and it had a swimming pool and all that stuff. You see, in Santa Rosa, I think like a one-bedroom apartment costs like 1,500 bucks, oh, yeah. like minimum. Easy. Easy. Well, they took your car. Yeah. So they're working on it right yeah. now. So that's good. Yeah. <sighs> Alrighty. So it has been about three weeks since I've recorded anything. So, there's a few reasons why. So I'm just gonna start off by saying a lot of the stuff that I said in the beginning of, or in the last video, just isn't gonna happen. Um, and what I'm gonna say next is gonna kind of explain why. And that stuff being going to concerts and, you know, traveling around and shit. Um, so basically, I think the last clip that you saw was of my grandpa talking about the prices of shit back in the day, because he's old as fuck. Um, so I think it was a couple of days after that, we took a quick trip, uh, like a one day trip to Santa Rosa. And in Santa Rosa, I just went to go back to get my stuff. So I got my computer and everything right here. I'm at my aunt's house in Bishop, which I never stated before. There was a day, the day after we came back from Santa Rosa, he kind of just got a little something. He was a little sick. So we went, so, fuck. So that day that we came back, the night that we came back, we just chilled. Nothing really happened. And then the next day, we kind of just chilled at home or at the guest house all day because he was feeling sick and he was coughing a lot. He was saying, I think I need to go to the emergency room. So we go to the emergency room. They keep him in that night and the next day. The day that he got out, he was supposed to have an appointment that he wasn't able to get to because he was in the hospital he gets out and this is kind of where oh oh fuck when he was in the hospital he had fucking the flu and pneumonia so it was all just kind of bad he gets out of the appointment and he hits me up on the phone and he says all right buddy they just let me out i'm gonna be over at the guest house soon but the only issue is that he was huffing and puffing and not really sounding too good and so he says i say I say, okay, Gramps, but like, chill out for a second so you can 
catch up, and then get over here, I'm not going anywhere. He said, I will, which is his kind of go-to response to anything to kind of just end the conversation about something he doesn't particularly want to do. I said, no, Grandpa, you really need to chill. You're not sounding good at all. And then he starts like, he's in the hospital and he's like yelling at me. He's saying like, don't tell me. He's like, he's like, buddy, you need to stop. Like, you're stressing me out and stuff like that. And I was like, shit, okay, what, damn. And he's never ever been like that to me in my whole life. I call my mom and I say, hey mom, grandpa's getting out of the, uh, out of the hospital today. He's on his way back right now. <sighs> then, as we're talking, he comes into the door and he's still huffing and puffing because he didn't fucking wait to come back like he should have. And that's the whole thing is, you know, with his lungs, you know, not being able to work so well. He, like, like I said in the last video, he gets tired out by everyday shit. Like if, if I were in his shoes and I were to stand up, I could only stand up for a couple seconds. You know, it's before I get too tired to handle it and have to sit back down. So he uh, was obviously a little agitated. And so he immediately tells me to go start packing everything back up in the car to go back to Bishop. And I just didn't know how I felt about that. I didn't think that it was the best idea because he was so <sighs> about, you know, just being in his car. You know what I mean? I call my mom again and I said, you know, grandpa's not doing too hot right now. I think we should wait a day to go back to Bishop. He's just not feeling it today, I don't think. And so he has this thing called an oximeter that you clip onto your finger and when you, uh, it like registers the uh, amount of oxygen that's flowing through your system. She told me to find out what his oxygen level was. So I found out that his oxygen level is at 75, which is pretty low. I tell her that it's 75 and his oxygen, his oximeter is reading at a 75 and she says that's way too low. And I said, I, I, I agree, I think he needs to chill out today. Because the, uh, the original plan that we had was to leave the next day, but it almost just kind of worked out where he would get out of his appointment the day that he's trying to leave. He would, we would be getting out early enough to head out to Bishop and be fine. But uh, she said, yeah, I tried to talk to him and see what he can, and see if he's willing to like wait. So I talked to him and I say, Grandpa, I think that we should wait till tomorrow to go to Bishop. And he starts saying, no, no, we're gonna leave today. We're leaving today. And starts getting super agitated with me again. And he's never ever been like that to me. So it was really tough to hear. I'm on the phone with my mom again. And like, you know, I felt bad because she was at work, but I, there was nothing else that I could have done. Cause she's dealt with him way longer than I ever have. You know, she knows this side of him and I don't. I'm just saying, dude, he's not fucking listening. And like, that was kind of an issue is that he wasn't listening. Not like he has to, but I'm not saying the things that I'm, I'm not telling him to do the things that I'm saying out of being selfish. You know, my whole, my whole thing about being here is to improve his life and make his life, you know, make, like, you know, extend his life. She says, well, just start packing up and see if he starts calming down. It was, it was something like that. This is three weeks ago. I just remembered, or maybe it was to sit down and talk to him. So I, he's already pissed off, like fucking mad at everything. So I bring him into the, into the room that we were staying in, in the guest house. And I said, I need to talk to you. And he, and he starts getting super mad and saying, oh, you better not be telling, you better not be talking to everybody because he knows that he's in the wrong. He knows that he shouldn't be doing this. He knows that it's not the best thing for him. I said, I just don't think it's a good idea to go to Bishop today. You know, I'm worried about you and I want you to rest before we go. You know, leaving tomorrow is not gonna be a big deal. And so he'd already told everybody at the guest house that we were leaving. He starts yelling at me saying, He's saying, no, you pack this up, you pack that up, and put it in the car, and we're leaving for Bishop today. And I'm just talking to him in a calm voice. 
you know, I have videos of this, but that's not something that I want to put up. He starts getting overly hysterical, kind of making me look bad in front of everybody in the guest house, which didn't feel good. You know, I texted my mom before and I called her this time. Speaking of, she just Snapchatted me. I, I took stuff out to the car to separate from him. I wanted him to calm down and I wanted me to calm down. Because I was starting to get shaking mad because I don't deserve to be treated like this, you know, for trying to fucking help someone. I calm down and I go back inside and I'm just trying to speak calmly with him, but he just doesn't want to fucking hear anything I have to say. And he's trying really, really hard to intimidate me, but I'm just not an easily intimidated person. Blaming me for him being the way that he is, or, or blaming me for why he's acting the way that he is. Screaming at me, just making me feel like shit, because like I've said before, I've never ever seen the side of him. So I go on the, f I, I go outside and I'm just contemplating everything, because I feel like if I take him to Bishop that he's going to die, or he's going to overexert himself, and we're going to be somewhere in the middle of the desert, and there's nothing that we can do. I call my mom and I just started crying, saying, I don't want to be treated like this. By the way, I'm not being fucking paid right now. Um, and also, this is not a video of me talking shit on my grandpa, by any means. I love the dude fuck death. But this is just what, like one day that just wasn't good. Um, the only day that hasn't been good, honestly. I'm crying and, you know, I just didn't know what to do anymore. Just, I was so torn because I wanted to do what was best for him, which was have him rest, and he was just not wanting to, to do that. So, they take, he has, he has this, uh, what's called uh, an oxygen concentrator. You, you keep it in a room and it just takes the oxygen that we're breathing and um, forces it through a hose at whatever setting you have it at. So they took that out of his room. So I was like, okay, I guess we're going to Bishop. So I was pretty fucking mad at him. I didn't really talk to him at all. He was kind of being pretty rude to me the entire, uh, not the entire ride, but for the few times that I said anything to him, he was being kind of rude. And I think a lot of the reason why he was that way was because he didn't take his anti-anxiety medication, which I've been fucking on him about now. You know, and then I, I'm i staying at my aunt's because he's having a different part of his house being built that I'm gonna be eventually moving into. You know, that was that, and I didn't really feel like filming for a while just because I didn't, I just needed to collect myself again. As serious as these videos are gonna be, you know, about my grandpa and being around him and watching him fucking struggle, it's like one of the most depressing things I've ever been through, you know what I mean? Kind of, I've, I've gotten pretty shut off by it, so like it doesn't really affect me anymore, but that doesn't mean that it's not sad. As serious as these videos are gonna be, my aunt and I were talking and she wants to help break that up, you know, because not everybody wants to watch a depressing video. Or, you know, as entertaining as the videos might be, you know, some of the stuff that you're gonna see in it is gonna be a little depressing. So she wants to start, she wants to help me film videos that are a little bit more lighthearted and a little bit more fun. So that's what we're gonna do. You know, she has ideas, I have ideas. Um, I, have, uh, I have three cousins and I'm, try I'm gonna try to get them all in a video. They've watched my videos before. So this, this should be pretty cool and a good way to kind of break everything up and make it, make it more fun. That's that. Um, other news is that I got my fucking license finally for anybody that knows me personally knows damn well that I've fucking, I've talked and talked and talked about getting my license, never did until about a week ago. I got my license, um, my grandpa just set up more appointments for Reno. So I'm gonna be back in Reno from the 17th to the 19th, I believe it is. I'm gonna do my best to film as much of it as I can. I wanna be able to do shit like this, and I wanna you know, be able to put these videos out for my friends and family in, in Santa Rosa that don't really get to see me now because I'm out here, and this is kind of a way to get that. So, to all my friends and, and in Santa Rosa, to my parents and my sister. I miss all of you very much. I'm super fucking homesick and I wanna see all you guys. But hopefully I'll be getting a car soon so I can come out and see you guys. But anyways, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to you know, continue on this journey with me and whether it be the fun or the depressing videos, whichever fucking ones you really wanna watch. So anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.